Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations, Power of the Primes, Abominus. As you can see, and as you know, we've already taken a look at all five individual robots that form Abominus from the Transformers Generations, Power of the Primes toy line. Now we're going to put them together. So, let's hope this goes well. <laughs> so first, let's go ahead and put the legs on. Let's move Cutthroat and Center Twin out of the way. And as you can see, we've already got the feet on there. We're going to start with Blot. And... The connector here goes right in there, and this piece pushes up to lock it into place. A little difficult to do on camera. See, it just clips in like that. Full blots head in. There we have the legs. Now let me raise this up a little bit and I'll show you how to do the arms. All right, and we're back. Now, for the arms, take center twin and this piece here is gonna just slide right down in there. And it has kind of a clip too, a spring-loaded clip, just like the legs. And it just slides if I can get it just like that okay and now <clears throat> remember how I was telling you on the cutthroat video my OCD is kicking in see how his head is there well center twins goes in like that so they're they're facing the same way let me go ahead and connect there we go See, they're facing the same way. So what you kind of want to do is you want to turn their heads around. Put them like that. That kind of makes it a little bit better. But there you have Terracon Abominus. And this is a really cool transformer. I like him. As you can see, let me pull this down a little bit. I have all their guns attached. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to do is put the handpiece there. See how I got that? That's just to give them a little bit of stability. Now you don't have to, I like to, just because I don't want them falling over all the time. I'm kind of a heavy, heavy walker, so, uh, and since I live in a mobile home currently, uh, when I walk, kind of shakes the ta uh, trailer a little bit, <laughs> which leads me to another point. This may very well be final toy review for this channel on this set I'm going to do a new a new video soon explaining what I mean about that 
So anyway, back to Abominus. Uh, his arms, they go out to there. Let me, about to there. They could move higher if I were to move the heads, but I don't want to do that right now. Um, elbow articulation on both sides. It's a little hard to do on camera. There's elbow articulation. Uh, his head does turn all the way around. There's no, there's no ball joint or anything. It's just on a swivel. Uh, his hands do rotate. Okay. Then his legs go up to there, and they're on a ratchet, but they don't hold. They're too heavy. Knees. Right, just like that. Okay. Uh, same with the other side. Uh, this one's not wanting to bend. Oh, I, I know why. This one doesn't want to bend because in order to, because it's attached to the robot head, see, you'd have to bring him down like this, and yeah. So, oh crap! All right. Kind of awkward doing this on camera, especially since this is nothing like a Voltron combiner. Because there's so many moving parts in a transformer. But What's going on? Why is he... Okay. There we go. There's so many moving parts in the transformer that it, it's hard to do it justice uh, on camera. But um, let me go ahead and pull back a little bit. There he is. There's Abominus. Turn the light there. And he's good. He looks good. I really like him in this configuration. Uh, the only bad thing, you know, is. The direction of Cutthroat's head, you can't rotate it or anything uh, to make him face inwards towards Abominus's head like Center Twin naturally does. Uh, and the fact that Blot in leg mode can't really bend all that well because of how the head and the connector are attached together. Uh, another uh, problem I have is, as you known seeing the other videos, the legs of the individual robots, they're very tough to connect together and stay. They like to come back apart. But other than that, very nice. I, I like them. Uh, I'm probably going to display them in this mode rather than the individual robot mode or beast modes uh, just to kind of save space 
Uh, I won't be able to display him with the rest of my Transformers, unfortunately, because he's so big for right now. Uh, that is at least for another month or so. And I'll explain more about that in a revealing video of what's going on. Um, so yeah, he's just going to be displayed here next to my Enterprise D and my Gold Enterprise D and my Gremlins 2, the new... Uh, not Gremlins 2. Gremlins Stripe uh, figure and next to my Voltron. And comparison, let's go ahead and move them over. Uh, I just happen to have Voltron here from the uh, vintage wave that just came out a couple years ago. So you can't battle him and he's and when it comes to the ultimate Voltron uh, from the legendary line uh, he's still smaller than it too so you can't really battle him either uh, now let me go ahead and get a couple of other transformers to compare them against sit tight okay so here he is next to a little bit dusty haven't had a chance to dust them off or anything so bear with me it's probably going to stay dusty in till get a new display area um, but there he is next to ultimate Voltron and I don't know man, you might be able to battle him you know if that's what you want to do uh, he's a little bit shorter than Ultimate Voltron. And then... Comparing to Ultra Magnus. He is bigger than Ultra Magnus. Quite a bit bigger. If you were to take standard size like there. to Inferno, they'd pretty much be the same size. <laughs> and we'll just put to Inferno down there. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do Ectotron. Uh, we'll do Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. And we'll do Optimus. See, he, he towers over all of them. And since Megatron is the same size as Optimus and uh, Cloudraker. Okay. I know I picked all Autobots and Abominus as a Decepticon. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> they were the easiest to grab at the moment. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And tune in real soon when I'll share with you a huge reveal. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.